नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर ये नष्ट प्रायद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भगवती नैष्टिके भागवतम फिफ्थ कैंटो थर्टीन चैप्टर टेक्स्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री नमो महद्यो अस्त नम शिशुभ्यो नमो महद्यो अस्त नम शिशुभ्यो नमो युवद्यो नव आवतुभ्य ये ब्राह्मणागम अभदूत चरंती तेभ्य शिवमस्तुराज्ञा नमो महद्यो अस्तु नम शिशुभ्यो नमो युवद्यो नम आवतुभ्य ये ब्राह्मणागम अवधूत चरंती तेभ्य शिवमस्तुराज्ञा नमो महद्यो अस्तु नम शिशुभ्यो नमो युगभ्यो नम आगतुभ्य ये ब्राह्मणागा बधूत लिंगा चरंती तेभ्य शिवमस्तुराज्ञा
word meanings. Namaha, Namaha. all other senses. Mahadhyaha, unto the great personalities. As to, let there be. Namaha, my obeisances. Shushubhyaha, unto those great personalities who appear as boys. Namaha, respectful obeisances. Yugabhyaha, unto those who appear as young men. Namaha, respectful obeisances. Abatu Biha Unto those who appear as children Ye All those Who Brahmanaha Self-realized in transcendental knowledge Gam The earth Abadhutalingaha Who remain hidden Under different bodily guises Charanti, they traverse. Devyaha, from them. Shivamastu, let there be all good fortune. Ragyam, unto the royal dynasties or kings who are always very puffed up. Translation. I offer my respectful obeisances unto the great personalities, whether they walk on the earth's surface as children, young boys, abadhutas, or great brahmanas. Even if they are hidden under different guises, I offer my respects to all of them. By their mercy, may there be good fortune in the royal dynasties that are always offending them. Please repeat after me. I offer my respectful obeisances. Unto the great personalities, whether they walk on the earth's surface as children, young boys, abadhutas, or great brahmanas, even if they are hidden under different guises, I offer my respects to all of them by their mercy. May there be good fortune in the royal dynasties that are always offending them. Offered by His Divine Grace, is the Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. King Rahugan was very repentant because he had forced Jayabharat to carry his palanquin. He therefore began offering prayers to all kinds of brahmanas and self-realized persons. Even though they might be playing like children or hiding in some guises, the four Kumaras walked everywhere in the guise of five-year-old boys. And similarly, there are many Brahmanas, knowers of Brahman, who traverse the globe either as young men, children, or abadhutas. Being puffed up due to their position, the royal dynasties generally offend these great personalities. Therefore, King Rahugan began to offer his respectful obeisances unto them so that the offensive royal dynasties might not glide down into a hellish condition. If one offends a great personality, the Supreme Personality of Godhead does not excuse one, although the great personalities themselves might not take offense. Maharaj Ambaris was offended by Durbasa, who even approached Lord Vishnu for pardon. Lord Vishnu would not grant him pardon. Therefore, he had to fall down at the lotus feet of Maharaj Ambaris, even though Maharaj Ambaris was a Chatriya Grahasta. One should be very careful not to offend the lotus feet of Vaishnavas and Brahmanas. Hare Krishna. Very nice verse. <coughs> Remembering and Prabhupada's early days says to us, our goal is to go back to Godhead. Of course, there are many great devotees, they don't care to go back to Godhead. Whether they are here or in the spiritual world, always rendering pure devotional service. 
<coughs> but for us, we have to, as Prabhupada said, you have to, you have to go ahead. Unless you qualify, I will go. So qualification is, you wrote down your list. Simply, devotional service starts from surrender. So, when you surrender, automatically you develop all the good qualities. Or a Vaishnava, which Chaitanya Chaitanya to mention, 26. And when <coughs> Krishna was disappearing from the physical vision of common people at the time, and uh, his great devotee, Uddha, he was told, and he said, I will also go to... Uh, Krishna says, no, it me. You stay here, I will tell you about devotional service. You go to Badrina, I am going. Then he was telling again, the street is six, little more, two more. Uddha said, I got to go the Bhutan Chakra. One of them says, every night and once every Akadushi day, here is Akadushi day. Meditate. You are really serious to go back to God? So you have to be develop as good as God the quality. Otherwise how will you go to that? Can I sit with him? Of course, one may not one like do. And Prabhupada can recognize who can. So he mentioned one of his disciples, who may not be that much. <coughs> I mean, put in high grade. When he says, I hope, or I think this life will go back to God. So one day, remember him and celebrate, like a Vishnu. I think, this is Jayananda Prabhu. And so we have got Samadhi. So who knows how many, or any Jayananda, he may not be in the, think he's got nice officially. Here, in Iskon. So many devotees are there. Because everything has got external symptom and also internal symptom. He's not saying he is a pure devotee. In short, he says <coughs> in chapter 10, verse 9, he is saying, Machitta, Madgata Prana, Dodananta Parasparam, Kachan Tasta Amritam, Tushanticha, Ramanticha. You know <coughs> the meaning, very simple. Always is absorbed, his mind dwells in me, his life he is completely dedicated to. Always they are enlightening each other, conversing only, all the time, Krishna Katha. And thus they, they, the garden make others happy and they also uh, become joyful. Therefore, this is, uh, this is the realized person's simple one of the which we learn coming to Iskand. First thing we learn as Krishna told you, Jun, you are not this body, you are not this body, you are bodily showing symptom that you are in ignorance, you are thinking there is the body, you have the body and body relation, how you can hurt and cause bloodshed just for to get your kingdom to your grandfather, to your guru, like that. So we also Hear this thing, we are not the spirit when you realize this, not theoretical knowledge. Has to be realized and the symptom manifest. <coughs> when this is what Krishna is telling in Bhagavad Gita that <coughs> Brahma Bhuta Prasanna, our discount devotees always, others tell they are always bright faced, Prabhupada that means they are free from tension, anxiety, the joyful. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma, Prasannatma Jaipu. Not such a thing, he doesn't lament when he lose something material. Maybe dear and near one, body relation. No kankhati, neither hankering after possessing more and more material things. When you simply cut to an expensive car, more expensive, more expensive. This is what Prabhupada said, I am simply repeating. He told you just preaching means, tell, stand up. I cannot tell in front of you, I get nervous. No, just repeat. What I said, simply repeat. So more or less saying like that, as far as I remember. Here some of them I can see, no faces my, and forty years back. So, uh, forty-two, forty-three, 
same thing. So I'm simply repeating. If you don't disagree, please correct me. I will feel obliged. <clears throat> so here I see that when you are doing devotional service, one of the hindrances, one of the greatest obstacles, committing offense. And he is saying that sometimes we cannot recognize who is a Vaishnava, who is who. People sometimes say, all my disciples, Lord has given us, we are there. If those are all sincere, in one sense they are all pure. So don't distinguish between one and the other and don't commit offense. Here you see an example. Those who are three, those who are three, those who are three, those who have got opulence, those who have got beauty, Shuta, coming from an aristocratic or high class family, Kulin, in India, is common. Powerful like king, or highly educated, Shuta, usually they will be popped up. They do little, they offend. And these are, you know, in the original cell, Sarvish Yoga, we sometimes commit many offenses. Shiva Parad, Dhamma Parad, especially Nama Parad, First one, or third one, either or both, committing offense, blaspheming, hitting, not feeling joyful, and receiving when a Vaishnava is coming. Great offense, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Hati Mata. Like, like the devotional side is like, start with the seed Guru gives. It's always there, sometimes say. Eh? And you have to pour water, nourish him, take care of him, put pains. But suddenly an elephant comes, everything is spoiled. And this is the elephant, Dhati Mata. Come to the offense at the lotus feet of a devotee. And thus we see in scripture, seeing the Bhagavatam, so many cases like that. So many cases, committing offense to Brahmin, committing offense to devotees. And here it says, Lord never exclude them. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, if you are picked with a, with a, with a thorn, what does the thorn come out with another direction? No. Same way it comes out, which way it enters. So in other words, you come into offense, go back to him and ask for forgiveness. But sometimes I don't know whom I committed offense. For that, here is an example. And there are more examples. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching. Many other examples are there. <coughs> so, <coughs> here there is, see, Abhudut, Abhudut means externally you can't recognize him. See, Jarava, he looks like a madman at night guarding the field of our brothers. They think he is. This man, crazy. He looks like that externally. But you are supposed to be a Mahabhagavad. Two lives he spent. This, way, this life he is very strict. Always absorbed in the thought of the Lord. Chetuk Kumar looked like a little boy, five, six years old, maybe less than that. When they are in the world, they are much more older. But they are also Brahman realized they were. And one cannot think of nine. Like that, many cases are there. Just like Jayananda, Prabhupada used to point him. And he will be going somewhere with his top leaders. Suddenly he leave them and go to the temple I heard, go to look for where is Jayananda. He knows his heart. So he's going. And then later on, when he left his body, he said, celebrate the day in his memory when he disappeared or his appearance day. It's a great devotee. We can learn so much from his life. Wonderful devotee. Now it is coming out, many devotees saw him, they are telling. But Rupert could recognize at once. So, there <clears throat> is also scripture mentioned. Uh, even the demigods, those are supposed to be in a mode of goodness, highly in a mode of goodness, 
they sometimes find it difficult to know a sadhu. Kudil was asked by his mother, how will you recognize a sadhu? And uh, they were with the mother asking Kudil Dev, please enlighten me. How do you know a sadhu? What is the symptom? Then, I think, <coughs> Kudil Dev then say, uh, Titiksha, first symptom is, he is very, very tolerant. It's the same thing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying. Who can constantly chant the holy name? Who can be a Vaishnava? That, that, Tila Adopi Sumi Chena, who thinks himself I am lost. Even a straw in the stick, a grass, everybody is trampling, even an ant is trampling. You are all proud, you don't want to be. But that is why you are here. When Prabhupada left, he said, he said, Tolare. You know, when father goes there, many things will happen. Tolare. Very difficult. Still tolare. Very difficult. Very, very difficult. Still tolare. Impossible. Still tolare. And cooperate. There is a Bengali saying, Je Sahe, Se Rahe. What we told her is, only he will survive. Definitely he will survive. You see Pancha Panda, you see Kunti, you see Draupadi. What's possible a woman can be humiliated, insulted, disrobe, disrobing her in front of everybody? In the court, how much can be worse than that? For a woman, but Draupadi never complained. They know he is God. Why you have to go through all this thing? He never complained. Neither complained. There is saying. There is saying. Quite it. you are Sahishna. Oma Nina, he, he respect to everybody, show respect. But himself doesn't expect. He can constantly Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Remember, Prabhupada was saying many times, depending on time, place, circumstances, maybe, sometimes different answer on person. Once he was telling, there's so much meeting, won't solve your problem. He will meet again, again, more or less, I think, next year he said, meeting, but necessary, he will spend little time. Why you so Meeting, then passing resolution, I'm, don't take it otherwise, I'm <laughs> criticizing, I'm sorry. Then resolution passed, that's all. Then maybe no solution. Just the government pass law, and many are not solved, many problems. And then revolution. <laughs> Better, very nice now, Kirtan Mela. Stand together, sit together and chant. Then you find Krishna will help solve your problem. <coughs> In this connection, I find it irresistible to tell one incident, or as far as I remember. I know one of my Gauri's name is Tejas. I used to have a very sweet relation with him. He called me, for invite me in Bhuvaneshwar when he was head there, also daily. I tell some, then one day, one day I say, don't mind, I see, frankly, you are externally dressing like taggy, for eating sometimes nice food, prasad, this, that. I see you are eating and also providing a daughter and wife, minimum thing, necessary in terms of clothing, fooding, lodging. We have found better. So you are really at heart is in all in arms. Which we should learn from you. And I since then I like him. Very nice. 
wonderful to go to Prabhupada used to say Tejas is Delhi Delhi is Tejas because he used to work so hard later on also I heard about him when he came from America some devotee told me old devotee of Delhi Maharaj he was I saw him he was without money house anything lying in the street no hell nothing and from that he worked so hard when he came from abroad and he was telling I saw I heard I don't suppose that sometimes talking to me for hours and we would want to get that <coughs> Guru Khetra place and talking to Deputy Prime Minister, Prabhupada Adaman, he won't move from an inch, I want exact the spot Krishna told Bhagavad Gita and he also won't, he won't give that land. He said, Within a short distance, I'll give a piece of land, as much as you like, asking, but not that very land, I want to make it a tourist spot. That time, when I was talking, after I gone for some time, because I late, I saw, being late, he gone. Prabhupada, you will meet on Sundays. So uh, this is pretty late. Go back. Go we'll take rest. He was talking so many things. And Tejas, who used to work so hard to run this temple, he used to know all the parliamentarians, he talked to him. And people highly appreciate him. See some devotees, wonderful. He will always appreciate it. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also used to highly appreciate his devotees. This is God. This is devotee. Prabhupada once says also, some of you, nothing to do, our higher authority also say, we'll always find others' fault. Now, Bhakti Hidam Thakur also told, you have seen, he has got this, this, this. Hasn't got any good quality, you see? No answer. Then in that case, find your own, find your day. You find your heart is like a sheep. What is it called? See? Huh? And he may be, others may be like a middle hole. So better, see his good quality and glorify. It is good for you. Here you can learn so much from this. Any of our, us, every sloka, non different from Krishna and devotee, Mahabharata, they are also non different. Veda is like a, he says, he is like a, Yoga and Shukta is chanting and Parikshit is testing. And one who does not know this thing, the Bhagavad, Bhagavan, whether Buddha Bhagavad or the person Bhagavad, there is no difference. One has to realize this. And then we can realize, we are not realizing. Some may be. That's why once I think somebody is asking Lord Shiva says, Sukhavati, Sukhdev knows the purport of Bhagavad. I know. She was saying. I know. But Bhasdev may know or may know. May know, may not know. It's very interesting. It's a big purport of it. Why Bhagavad? So Bhajdev is saying he may know or may not know. Why? Because Srimad Bhagavad is not different from Krishna. He himself reveals with him. One chitam of one things, I know nothing. He is humble at heart. He reveals. What is the meaning? When a professor came, he writing Bhagavad Gita translation came to Prabhupada and asked him. Yeah. Samaji, you happened to be here there from Oxford or Cambridge. I think Professor Zena, maybe Sam Sundar may know. He used to bring them in the manner. And he's 
according to dictionary i don't find your meaning all the word and word by word meaning they tell you ji prabhu ji in silent all the time he say the letter when is going he i don't understand what you wrote all this then prabhu was not saying anything then he left prabhu ji giving prasad then he is gone after some prabhu said sanskrit guys and follow in a puri chate i am ignorant i am not writing i am just an instrument what krishna my within my heart he is i simply am like a pen writing many devotees saw prabhu sometimes alone reading his own book especially krishna book sometimes alone this one who is this is do to enter Prabhupada, you are reading your own book. Prabhupada said, I didn't write this thing. I am just an instrument. You don't know. It's all Krishna things. Isn't it wonderful? So, Prabhupada, yes. It's that is why he did it again and again. Anyone who did Krishna book again and again, he became, definitely he became a bhakta. Definitely. Yet, you really see. This is Krishna. Prabhupada said, teachings of Lord Krishna, Prabhupada, uh, I... I don't look like Krishna book is as good like like that. It's not Bhagavatam. So, here I find many examples like that just like Anshwas is when Prabhupada said when you are going to preach don't expect everything what you expect will happen. You have to be prepared for insult, refuse, humiliation, torture. This happened previously to what is done to Thakur. They tried to, you know, throwing big bats in Navadhi or Jant Gosai. So, so many other incidents. So, Prabhupada said you have to face when Asya are devotees, how they face torture. Of course, the early days, many devotees were, but it's not that much torture. They are taken to jail, taken to police station. This is a common thing. Many devotees. If I find how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tell, go and preach Haridas Thakur, Nityananda, Sana Sana Nityananda, Sana Haridas, Madhya Nityananda, Haridas Thakur. I am ordering you. You go and everywhere, reveal the meaning of Harinam, glories of Harinam. Amaragya Sarvatya Karao Kuttukas, Prati Ghari Ghari Ghari, go back to door, knock. Please, we are begging you, following the honor to preach Chaitanya Krishna. Karei Bhikkha, very humbly fall down and tell, forget everything, remember the teachings of Chaitanya and chant Hare Krishna. All your problems will be solved, no doubt. Oh, that Tejas is the thing. So Tejas told me, one day he, I have collection, one day, At that time he had maybe a day, most probably in Hyderabad, I forgot, excuse me. And they don't agree in some issues, how to do that. So they are going to Prabhupada, three of them. And this time Prabhupada saw them, Prabhupada was chanting Hare Krishna, and indicated them, something like Asparaya Dhrima, he also chant. Prabhupada knows why they are coming to him. And they are thinking, what he says is right, this way should be done. And they think that, they just think that, they have started chanting. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, 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 Hare H
So, Buddha said, what? Buddha's wrong. Buddha's mine. What the? You don't want to, I am right, you are wrong. Nothing. Anyway. So, Nityananda Prabhu, go ahead. <laughs> and you know what happened, that Jagai Madai, drunkard, woman hunter, coming from Brahmin family, and now the high class, Dambasi, doing all some full activity. I heard, usual, usual the most simple one is, one cannot tolerate Dholi Nami. Ask him to stop. Once chased, they ran away. Second time came, the Hilton Nitananda Prabhu didn't go away. Asked him stop. all these things chanting. Then you know, he crossed blood shed, and blood is oozing, but Nitanta was merciful. He simply said again, whatever you've done, it's okay. Please chant. And the Jagai was surprised. Ask your mother, hey, stop doing all these things. By that time, Nitanta, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, because Lord won't tolerate, is calling me, how dare you, you know, hit my devotee. Same thing to the Kazi, he stopped chanting, broke their Midanga, Kartal, everything. I said, next time don't do it, I'll stop it. I'll give heavy punishment. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took a big civil disobedience. No? What is it called? And Ransack all his house, garden, everything is what he collected so many people. And he was telling, he was talking to him, discussing scripture. Why you stop? And he said, I won't stop. Why? Last night, the dream. Nightmare, you can say. What? I saw. Somebody over my chest sitting, half lion, roaring. You again stop glorifying my chanting. You see this, my name, I'll rip you off. And he is showing to Chaitanya Mahapu the scratches on his chest. So from now on, can do chanting in the streets of Mayapu, no Diji, Mayapu, and doing all these things, all coming. And Yotamina Thakur said, when that day will come, Russia, Prussians, I think it's called Prus Prussia, France, Germany, England, America, and other countries will come chanting the holy name. Especially embracing each other and telling, going to find Jai Sachinandan Guru. The day is manifesting now. We are seeing, happening. And it's going to be organized. And Bhutmaya Thakur said, coming 10,000 years, the Bhutmaya's teachings and teaching will go on. And who will do it? It's gone, devotees. They must have done, huh? Prabhupada said, if you have not internal problem, out from outside they cannot break, it's gone. You cannot break. <laughs> so, this is the way. Then another guy, he was a great scholar, Bhagavad Gita, in India, still now from time immemorial, but there is a Bhagavad part, whatever Bhagavad Sattva, whatever it may be. And lot of people go there. Lot of people, many men. And there is a famous for Bhagavad reading was Devananda Pandit. He used to live in Kuria, still one place is called Kuria, 
There is a whole number of cities called sometimes Kulia, Pals. Sometimes called Kulia Dhamma at particular place. He used to leave. And he used to, many he used to go to and listen. He has got some students also. He got students. But some of them are ignorant, upstart. So when Rosik Bhakta, Jaitanya Mahaprabhu's associate, Siddhas Thakur, one day he went there to listen. And listening, he is a great devotee. At one point he was showing ecstatic symptoms, tears coming from his eyes. Tom, what do you call and he is standing, seeing his, his disciples who are immature in the days of the age. They thought, this guy is disturbing, taking up, putting him south, outside. Later on he came to his senses when external Sivastak was very sorry. They treated me like that. He went back home. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is Abhigya Sarat. Abhigya, he knows everything. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu once passing that way. Huh? Oh, this Devananda, what he can teach? What he knows? It's like that, actually. It's written in, uh, in Vedic literature, some of the Punishat. Maybe Kathubhunisha. Now Matta Prabhachan in Alapha. You cannot understand God by your scholarship, by your merit, by your energy of the brain. No. Neda. You cannot. But if you surrender to Him, to the Lord, and render loving service, then He will be pleased to reveal it to you. That means, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, you cannot buy scholarship. No. Bhagavad is non different from Krishna. So he reveals, seeing his service attitude, means think I will mean, know nothing. To him, he already is pleased. He can reveal it. Then he can explain. What he will explain with scholarship? Every word, every sentence, conclusion is bhakti. He doesn't know this. And when somebody reads Bhagavata, but, but disrespect, blaspheme, a devotee is non different from Lord, Bhagavata, and Bhagavata, eh? to him, Lord won't reveal, he's committing offense, danger. So he told he's going away. Again, when he went to Jagannath Puri, came back, by that time, he can. <coughs> Governor Sama Raja came to know this. And so, later on, once when Bhaktasya Pandit, Mahaprabhu is Ahishet, and Mahaprabhu is Ahishet, the full manifestation, Lord's energy. So he sings so, so sweet and dancing one day in Kulia, and from the afternoon till evening, and then even as the day advances, the night, Long time he is dancing and chanting nicely. And crowd is growing, become more and more. Sunday happened to Dr. Devananda uh, Pandit, who happened to be not very far, came to know he went to see his performance. And he saw everybody is enchanted. See? More people are coming and gathering. Nobody is going till nine. And then he thought, Brother, I let me do some service to him. So he took a stick and controlling the crowd so that he can nicely chant and then it's a service. Later on, when he finished, huh? late, then he paid him auditions. And Dr. Sarpundi was very pleased with him. So he said, Devotee pleased and Lord is pleased. Hmm? Huh? But Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur said, Jasya Prasadat, Bhagavad Prasadat. You get the mercy of your devotee, 
we get the mercy of the Lord. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, please, please. The again Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he came from Jagannath Puri, again he was going in streets of Navadip and suddenly the devotees came, many who committed offense to him. At that time he didn't take Shanna. They didn't know who he is. Now he is manifesting. Everyone could know. He is a great personality, God, this and Then he is coming asking for forgiveness and patient says, and Dr. Sir came pay him a vision and standing somewhere in the corner, very meek and humble, Ch Chaitanya Mahaprabhu looked at him and started, he said, please, please give me instruction how to properly, how to begin a proper uh, qualified leader of Bhagavatam. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, saying he is meek and humble. You know, even in, I think Christ or Bible it says, those who are meek and humble can enter into the kingdom of God. And surrender means also like the last surrender's fifth, sixth point is he is very meek and humble. But the Rupat say only muri rice when you make in a heat it up in a hot sand, top up. And also puri who cooked what Prabhupada knows famous in India, Puri. He rolls and boiling ghee, he put and he said, Pup! Papa! Like a bubble. He said, Muri and Puri is okay, they can pop up. And uh, nobody should be pop up. <laughs> it is not unlikely one can be carried away. So one devotee asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada, yes, <laughs> we are discussing Daivi Sampad, that means uh, divine qualities. You know, Jin has, Krishna said, but you are telling uh, demoniac qualities, many things. To tell the truth, Prabhupada, we, I think many of us have got all these things, dumbo, arrogant, I am superior. But you know what happened to the one uh, Rabha and Dirjadha? To pop up, arrogant, proud, envy, all these things. This is internal something. This is our greatest internal enemy, Bhaktivinoda Thakur said. You have to sum up them. Krishna is killing some enemy, representing some of this. Doubt, this, that. To, for that, you pray to Krishna. And others, Balwan is killing the Asura, these are like Asura, within our heart. That's why you cannot see Krishna or Vrindavan within our heart. Because we are not giving up our material desire. Vishaya Charya, Kavi Shuddha Havuman, when my heart will be cleaned. That's why you have to see it all up on our first clean your heart. Of course, we are cleaning by rendering service, many they will say more and more, you hanker after service and you become clean, of course. But millions of lives, dirt, heaped up like Himalaya, how can you one night clean up everything? Not so much easy as we find in our life. Still lusty desire, still enviousness there. We can ask ourselves, some very, very pure, very, very, put our hand in our heart and ask ourselves, then you know how much you become pure. You are not pure, then you are not getting the mercy of Nityananda. And without the mercy of Nityananda, you cannot see the uh, Vrindavan within your heart, Krishna. Otherwise, it is there. Here we are learning so much. He again he is repenting now and telling everything. Because so many offenses you do commit without knowing to whom we did. Better serve the Vaishnava who is senior. Better serve who is equal, make friendship. Tadati. 
तो तुझे मैं गिरी मिसाल दी है जी ब्रिंग एक्सेप्ट अर्ली डेज डिबोडी हैज गॉट सम डिस्प्यूट क्वार्टर फाइव एट वंस यू आर कॉल जनक राज नोज कॉल एंड यू आर कॉलिंग डिस्कस ओके यू आर राइट ही इज रॉन्ग डजंट मैटर पे ओबिशन इज टू इच अदर एम्ब्रेस फॉरगिव 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 दैट इज से दैट इज से so go what you see if you simply surrender you give up all the quality so go how to get it up this thing are we in support to the power said it will end up your devotion is how it supposed to disappear in a short time try you get now i am talking big mouth please forgive me i am simply parrot trying to <laughs> tell what to just say and hard Thank you very much. Any question or comment or enlighten us? Hello. Wake up, spiritual. <laughs> There are many distinguished old devotees. So I think if I think I cannot answer, I ex- I hope they will enlighten us. Yes. Yes. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you very much. I appreciate your points. Earlier in your lecture you were mentioning how we may commit offense and we may not know we're offending someone. Hmm. So what to do? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, you did, Bhakrishar. I am very pleased. Though you committed offense to my devotees, Vasudev, Shivas Thakur, Pandi, but later on you did so much. Nice service to Doctor Sir Pandey. Now I am pleased with you. Now you go to Sivas Thakur, ask for forgiveness, and he will he will go there and pay obeisances and ask for it. And this man doesn't take offence. So he embraced him. This is the solution. I know. You have to leave her. the scripture and also from the sadhu gopal early days for the say so we used to do that and i remember janakaraj remember you remember ha huh? this is two sitting and maybe jani bas or is there but uh, panch jangli is not there punching me no He was there at that time. I think some time it was. John was by that time came here. There is a reason. Yes? No. Hmm? Yes. This is the solution. Salu, Shastra, Guru. Solution is there. We have to consult. Whether you like or dislike, no choice. Yes. Maharaj, please. Oh, here is what the big man has said. We see him hard. He should know. Here, yeah, there. Yes, please say something. You want to? He is with me. Two initiations, same day, same time. Oh, that game was nineteen seventy one. Thank you, Maharaj. Please, everyone, welcome. Hari Ho. Hari Ho. He, his sister, all are very simple devotees. Very nice. I still can learn. So, when we can, if we commit offences so or unknowingly, mm. I mean, you're saying if, if we we go to, we have to go to someone and ask forgiveness, but unknowingly we've offended someone. How can we overcome that? Here he's repenting and telling to others, also paying obeisances. So, so see, he should see others' good qualities, appreciate. This is what I know. Not than that, and depend and to the Lord, another verse now. But then must see. Yes, that is what I know. Some we don't know who we offend. Make sense? Yes. Make sense. Yes, yes, 
Yes. Sanji. I think to become free from the offenses, we have to follow the Shastra. Yes. Then only uh, yes. Sadhu and Guru, if you yes. follow these three, then yes. we can be free from the offenses. Yes. Otherwise, we are gone committing offenses. Yes, yes. In my case, I don't think, I just accept. I think, <laughs> what do I think, to what want to say? What is the value of your, I think, we are a conditioned soul. What is the value of your, I think? And you are the soul, then make mistake. Who can tell you? I don't make mistake. I am not in illusion. My senses are perfect. Please raise hand. <laughs> Better accept. Forced to accept. Time is running out. Sleep is coming. Please announce that. In the Duma Sami's evening program is at Gamsala, second floor, starting at 6 p.m. Thank you. Yes? Yes? Dandavat Maharaj, <laughs> Hare Krishna. I want to know the conception of Shadu, Shastra and Guru and uh, how to correspond between these three elements. How to? Uh, related. Very simple. One is Sadhu, he becomes, one is Guru, he is Sadhu. And they follow the scripture. So these three go in parallel line. So in these things sometimes you see with the discrepancy, uh, not agree. You see, out of three, two, you see, saying the same, you accept it. Make sense? How to identify Sadhu or Guru? <laughs> sadhu or Guru? Now, Guru Tattva is very deep. According to heart, you pray to the Lord, feelingly, and Lord will respond in time. You know who is your Guru. That is what Prabhupada says on Guru Tattva is very Actual Guru is Krishna, Nityananda. He comes to you in the form of Guru and enlighten you. So that if you follow him, if you think you find a person, can this person you can completely ask questions, you can dispel your doubt, you can surrender to him, then you accept. If not, something will happen which is far from pleasant. Maybe you Find yourself in melancholy. This is history says. Make sense? Thank you. Anyone? Yes. Hi, Krishna Maharaj. Thank you. So much. Thank so you, so and so, so we, <laughs> Sometimes we uh, make distinctions like here's a great devotee and here's a lesser devotee and a new devotee. Would you just comment a little bit about how to be careful about that, making those distinctions? Like we'll serve... I have philosophy is the same at the same time, different. Here are all Vaishnava and Vaishnavis. But somebody may be doing a lot of work, service. Somebody may not be. Somebody is doing a lot of service, has a lot of good qualities. Somebody may not have. Somebody may have that very pure, not so much sensual. Whereas he may not do that much service. Others can do. He may be very passionate. His outlet for his passion. Time tells sometimes all this. I don't have to explain. It explains in itself. Make sense? You need the history of Vaishnav's movement. You know. Please. 
is advice how we do avoid Con continuing eh? yeah, mental offense. As far as I know, my knowledge goes to us in Kali Yuga, mentally you are doing many things, but Krishna excuse, but again and again you should not do. Check. This much Perspective. As far as I know, if you are sadhana is very good and under the guidance of Guru, he will guide you. Guide you. I have the limitation. He wants to say something. He is my god brother. Please. Give the mic. First, thank you again and again for a wonderful message in class, Maharaj. Yesterday I had the good fortune of hearing something in Chaitanya Bhagavat that is pertinent to this topic of offending Vaishnavas. Hmm. Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur and Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sasrati Thakur in the purport he said, one who understands that there's no difference between Hari, Guru and the Vaishnavas hmm. will give up the envious mentality and will no longer blaspheme or offend the devotees. Very nice. Very nice. Good answer. Who asked the question? Hmm? It's from the scripture. Huh? Any other? Yeah. I don't know. How <laughs> can I read? Like your question. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you very much for the class. Please speak a little louder and distinctly. Well, you were asking if we remembered from very place, I think. Ah, yes, very place. Yeah. So, uh, there's 71. 70, 71. 70. I yes. just, uh, just rem when you said that, I just remembered on this topic um, how, uh, you know, it was quite small and crowded, but um, we were all paying obeisances as soon as we saw each other in the morning, not just <laughs> when we did it generally, but it was sometimes you, before you could get in the temple room, everyone's paying obeisances to each other. <laughs> I remember that as, as nice training. Is our Lord doing everything? We don't know how everything happens. Lord has got hand in everything. This is my, my realization. Long back I saw, again I am seeing often, we are meeting like a straw in the ocean, sometimes separated, sometimes come together. He said, Krishna is like a string and every, every other things are like powers you can adjust. Ninja, Infra, Though you are far away, again you become very near, remembering those things. Very nice. Sweet experience. Thank you. Thank you very much. Old day story. So many things happen. <laughs> Very good. He said, who is a Vaishnav? Short answer give. Who is a Vaishnav? What is it answer such a good telling? Who is a Vaishnav? He said, Konako Kameni Pratishtha Bhagini Sari Achijare Saitu Vaishnav. One who has become free from the attraction of Konako is not running after wealth. Kameni, opposite gender. Pratishtha mean profit, adoration, distinction. He's not after. He's a Vaishnava, definitely. Well, what is the time is telling SN? It says Sutta Vakta, he is a pure devotee. So you can ask, am I become a pure devotee? Have I developed this thing? You can know. Huh? You are 
are hungry and not hungry. Do you ask anybody? Oh, ask yourself. Make sense? Thank you very much. Yes. Yes, sir. Any other? Today is Akadesi. I think I can take a little time. Second letter. Yes? <laughs> no? No. No. Speaker. Vivekananda says football playing is better than guitar part. Is it true? Scripture does not say all great sages, Krishna, Acharya, never say all these things. They have heard of it. They have heard of it. But Vivekananda says something is It's better to play football than, than reading Gita. That is what we are saying. No, no, all Acharyas realize so. Not the Acharya, Jamuna Acharya, Sankara Acharya. Huh? No. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nigel Gita say, Krishna, what do you like, sir? You like, sir, Bhavadananda? Or Krishna? Krishna is now 120 crore years ago. All his teachings. And Bhavadananda, how many years? You will know. He is telling, instead of pouring water to Tulsi, Put water to eggplant tree. Then you can eat eggplant lafabegum, like a butter. You are in bodily concept. You are in spiritual. <laughs> and you are sweet. Nothing. It's not important. Make sense? Yes? Thank you. <laughs> we are by like Krishna. Yes? Hare Krishna. Um, to get more qualities of Krishna, the 26 qualities of a devotee, is it, you said surrender, but is it through the association of devotees that you learn these qualities? How do you... No. One is Mukha, one is Brahma, one is main. You simply surrender, you develop gradually. But surrendering may not be complete. Maybe partial, maybe artificial. Maybe even conditional. Krishna, give me this, please. Please, Krishna. Yes. Please give me this. Then I will surrender. Definitely. <laughs> that is not surrender. Yeah? But it's better than not coming approaching Krishna. That is why still we are here. That is still we are here. You might, some of us may go to heavenly planets, hell planets. Again, do you something? Again, Hare Krishna. <laughs> Make sense? Yes? Mara, want to say anything? Regarding this? No. Amar Vilas, Swamiji, Ayanava Swami. And Jananivas, he is Dhammasi from the early days, Santi. They are living in Dham. And that, living in the body in the same thing, you know, Pedro said. Sadhu, real Sadhu, he doesn't want to go back to, back to God. But he is serving, if he is in the two days of service, the consciousness, huh? Eh, eh, Dham is also consciousness. If you are pure devotion serving Krishna, then you are in the Dham. You may be in London, New York, Paris, Melbourne. So Pedro told one devotee. And he said, Pedro, my eye is so strong. Pedro said, you are in the Dham, Melbourne temple, where everything is going on, devotion is 24 hours. You are absorbed in it. You are not in the material world, Australia. You are in the, in the, in the spiritual world. You simply have to realize it. See through me what I am saying. 
So he is already here. <laughs> Still not home. So he said, yes, we You want to say something? Enlighten us? Thank you. Your words are very sweet to the ears. <laughs> and your activities, your activities are very pleasing to the eyes. Therefore, I try to sit as close to you as possible to see you when you are speaking. <laughs> Me. As long as he leaves, so that he can learn from other Vaishnava. Please bless me. So I never think we become perfect. Thank you. You know then, he took all us. He said, Sure, we don't sometimes get confused. Can you recognize who is who? I say, Yes. Provided I am with very close proximity, I'm very near, but the moment is too far, is I am also not sure. <laughs> but, I know their nature a little. He has got great responsibility, he is sober, little grave. He is thinking always how to get everything done properly at night. Sometimes, if you will us, play with me, joke with me, <laughs> fight with me like a <laughs> friend, you know, like that. So I can understand two nature. He says, face is the index of mind. Huh? So, or no eyes. So you can see close the eye, you know. Little distance, look at the face. How it moves. Makes sense. <laughs> He's giving a smile, looks sweet. Matchless. <laughs> He's very, very humble. Man. I think we can finish here. No? Nobody has any question, you see. Huh? Ajay, what is your question? What is the most pleasing service to a Vaishnav? <laughs> what is very pleasing service to a Vaishnav? What to say? Well, I think it should be a pleasing which pleases the Guru and previous Acharyas. So, what I find is ideal, I don't know if it is spontaneous, but the ideal thing should be what our previous Acharyas uh, want, what is the desire. They, towards the direction, we should try our best, then all the blessing will be showered on us. That is what I know. Is that right? Maharaj, what do you think? What is your answer? Yeah. What you say, I want to know. I have to translate your English. <laughs> I, I, please forgive me, my English is like that. Can you say it again? I say, the previous Acharya, they have got the mission and desires to serve the Lord. And towards that mission, to fulfilling that, we should do our best. Make sense? Yes. Said yes. What other say, Jani was for you and other? Hmm? What do you say? Yes? Uh, scriptures uh, says that a devotee may forgive another person for an offense, but Lord may not. Also, if a person is guilty of committing an offense, is it that Krishna will forgive him in this case? You don't know Krishna's mind. That is the answer. 
He's very good. What are you using? <laughs> Brahma. Huh? After committing offense, testing Krishna is a looking boy. What is doing? Stole all the cowherd boys and put it in the cave. Coming after a short time, you see, this one moment of Brahma, that means long time, one year. Yeah. So, he was shocked, surprised. Same boy, exactly same cows, cows are there. Then he was mystified. He was trying his mystic power on Krishna. And he himself became mystified. See what I have done. Who is he? Maybe the supreme personality of God. And started to glorify him. Fell down. With this. You know all. What is called Mukut or crown on his feet. And little boy. And started glorifying him. But still looking at him, he is not sure, seeing Krishna's face, whether he is pleased or not. If our Acharya, where it started, Brahma Madhya Gurudya Sangra, he cannot understand Krishna's mind, but to speak of us, most insignificant. Follow. Make sense, Maharaj? Make sense, Swamiji? <laughs> Anya Vilas, his holiness. <laughs> Is it? Sounds reasonable, yes? No? <laughs> Nodding head. Yes, yes. Shall we stop? Again another. Hare Krishna, Dandavad. How to overcome offenses through mind? Kindly tell. You already from your seat? Huh? You say? How to overcome? Offenses through mind. You see, only the answer. Huh? And what time you say to him? Okay, pass this. What is that? Speak up, mic. Speak up. In the Chaitanya Bhagavad, Vrindavan Das Thakur, and in the purport, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, they both said that one who recognizes that there's no difference between Krishna or Hari, the Guru and Vaishnavas will give up their envious mentality and quit blasphemy and I'm hearing. and offend the devotees. Please hear. You're not hearing. <laughs> he seems to be talking at that time. And I pray he cannot more than that help you. <laughs> Yesterday, I was serving juice prasadam. <laughs> it was very up. I was holding he, a... What? What is that? Lending a jug. Uh, holding a jug. Why few devotees asked me to serve? I have to say no, because I say you already have, but there are others who does not. How I, have I committed offense? <laughs> Maharaj, what do you say? <laughs> as far as I <laughs> no, Prabhupada said, every living entity has got millions of questions, and for that, but there are also millions of answers. But there are some ideal question and that ideal answer which lead us to back to Godhead. Does that lead us to back to Godhead? If not, I think it is irrelevant. No relevance here. Yeah. I think it does it. Uh, what do you think? You understand. This is my understanding. I saw Prabhupada sometimes say, this is not a question. <laughs> Prabhupada, you wrote in Krishna book, there is a mountain and Krishna and Balaram with the chest went up. It is 88 miles high. So Prabhupada, where in this world is 88 miles high? Some mountain where Krishna and Balaram jumped and they put fire. <laughs> Jaman, Kaljaman or whoever it may be. So Prabhupada, Prabhupada said, no, I am not going to answer. And he said, people will ask me, what will answer? He said, no, I am not going to answer. <laughs> Maybe after Prabhupada said, read Krishna book, 
Siapa ribu bos di satu sisi? Ada teman pun, bos any question, no di aski. Any few days also, then few but it's completely different. Few but say, no question to Krishna book. Simply read and listen and release. Different. One time one answer, one time another answer. 